Rahul Gandhi's comments in UK conclave has now sparked a massive controversy. External Affairs Minister Jay Shankar slammed Rahul for calling the Indian Foreign Services arrogant. Hitting back at Rahul, Jay Shankar said the Indian Foreign Services have changed and they follow the orders of the government now. Jay Shankar asserted that it is not called arrogance but confidence and it is called defending national interests. Rahul Gandhi in United Kingdom conclave has said that several bureaucrats from Europe told him that the Indian Foreign Services had changed completely and they are arrogant. I was talking to some uh, bureaucrats from, from Europe and they were saying that the Indian Foreign Service completely changed. They don't listen to anything. They're arrogant. Now they're just telling us what, you know, what orders they're getting. There's no conversation. You can't, you can't do that. जरूरी तो नहीं कि सरकार में सब चीज सही हो रही है सब अधिकारी भी सब सही कर रहे हैं तो निश्चित रूप से जो राहुल जी का इशारा है कि जिस तरह से जो है फॉरेन सर्विस के कुछ अधिकारियों को कई अधिकारियों को अपना एटीट्यूड जो रखना चाहिए अगर उनको कहीं लगा कि उनका एटीट्यूड कहीं ठीक नहीं को बहुत लोग बहुत बातें कहते हैं तो राहुल गांधी को पूरा अधिकार अपनी बात कहने का इसमें कौन सी है ये तो चाहते हैं कि कोसी की आलोचना मत करो हम सब सही कर रहे हैं तुम जय जयकार करते रहो राहुल जी को अगर कुछ डिप्लोमेट्स ने वो यूरोपियन डिप्लोमेट्स ने कोई बात कही है तो उन्होंने पूरी जिम्मेदारी के साथ ये बात कही है और राहुल गांधी कोई मामूली आदमी तो नहीं है कि उनकी बात का नोटिस ना लिया जाए तो सरकार को बजाय इसके कि इस एरोगेंस को कॉन्फिडेंस की बात कहें बेहतर ये है कि सुधार करने की ज़रूरत है मैं समझता हूँ फॉरन मिनिस्ट्री के अंदर कोई पॉलिटिक्स नहीं करनी चाहिए Third massive fire incident in the national capital in just 10 days. Delhi lately has been reporting scores of fire incidents. A fire broke out in a furniture warehouse near Bajrang Chowk in Bhalswa Dairy in Delhi. According to Delhi Fire Services, 11 fire tenders were rushed to the spot. Local residents and police teams engaged in extinguishing the fire and the fire was finally doused at about 11.20 p.m. No casualty has been reported so far. On 13th of May, 27 people People were killed in massive fire in Delhi's Mundka area. The showdown over Hindu college professor Ratan Lal's post on the alleged Gyanwapi Shivling continues. The DU professor was arrested last evening. Lal was given bail earlier today. Here's more coming in on the story. showdown over Gyanwapi survey. A Delhi University professor was arrested for an alleged vulgar post against the Gyanwapi Shivling. Several teachers and students staged a protest against the arrest, alleging that the arrest of Ratan Lal is illegal. Delhi University's Hindu college professor was arrested for his alleged derogatory Facebook post, taking a jibe at the claimed Shivling discovered inside the mosque. A section of the Delhi University professor stood strongly against Lal's arrest. किस गिरफ्तारी से एक मैसेज देने की कोशिश है और वो मैसेज क्या है? वो मैसेज है कि डिस्क्रिमिनेशन के खिलाफ अगर कोई आवाज बुलंद होगा तो उसे बंद कर दिया जाएगा. Students hit the roads to seek a release of their professor. Recently, Modi government uh, is curbing the vo democratic voices. Whoever raised a uh, voice against their uh, politics, the uh, divisive politics which they are doing in this country, whoever ra raising their, their voice, they are curbing their voices. The way Modi government, but the, the way BJP, the way the Delhi police is tackling this issue, this hard step taken by Delhi uh, police uh, that to arrest uh, uh, the professor. So it's actually uh, very undemocratic. Ratan Lal is accused of promoting enmity between groups on grounds of religion. The lawyer who lodged a complaint asserted that their religious sentiments were hurt by the anti-Hindu remark made by Ratan Lal. It was so important that I didn't want to mention it. I had the thoughts of the religious thoughts of me too, being a Hindu. And many other people who were very sensitive to this thing, I had a complaint with the Delhi Police Cyber Cell North, which was launched after an FIR launch. और एफआईआर के बाद मैं दो दिन से यही इंतजार कर रहा था कि कब अरेस्टिंग होगा 
कल रात को मुझे इन्फॉर्मेशन मिला था कि दे आर गोइंग टू अरेस्ट रतन लाल JP has now been slamming the professor for hurting Hindu sentiments through a post but Congress in a scathing attack condemned Ratan Lal's arrest. Meanwhile political war over Gyan Vapi survey does not seem to die. A day after the Supreme Court's order OAC has slammed the survey report. To wazu karenge usme house mein jaakar aur 400 saal se us wazu ko us faware ko kuch nuksan nahi hua. और अगर ये फवारे को अगर इस तरह अगर पेश किया जा रहा है तो कल ताजमहल को बंद कर देना पड़ेगा ताजमहल के सामने भी फवारे लगे हैं विज्ञान वापी केस नाउ ट्रांसफर टू वाराणसी डिस्ट्रिक्ट कोर्ट ऑल आईज नाउ इज ऑन द जुडिशरी टू सी व्हाट दे डिसाइड विद श्रेया चैटर्जी इन दिल्ली ब्यूरो रिपोर्ट इंडिया टुडे Massive clashes erupted between villagers and police officials in Assam's Nagao district on Saturday, alleging police brutality against a villager. A mob went on a rampage, said the Batadrava police station ablaze. This after a resident was taken into custody by the police and was asked to furnish 10,000 rupees and a duck as conditions for the release. Upon failing to meet the demands, his wife claimed that her husband was beaten to death in custody by police officials. What began as a scuffle between villagers and the police led the mob led to the mob to vandalize and set the police station on fire. While the situation was brought under control by police reinforcements, two police officers have been injured in the incident. Two police officers sustained injuries. Three accused have been arrested. Anyone who is involved, anyone who is at fault, will be, we will take against action against them. Anyone who is involved, anyone who is at fault, will be, we will take against action against them.